Well, hello, I'm back after a coronavirus enforced hiatus. A um, couple of weeks out of doing anything on the car, mostly sleeping, um, but slowly getting back into it, not pushing it yet, but starting to do some little bits. And my first thing I'm going to tackle is the coupler for the motor upgrade for the 300. Uh, I'm out in the backyard on a beautiful spring evening uh, that I'm about to ruin by making a load of noise. First piece I'm going to try making is the motor end. Um, this is the gear, whatever you want to call it, um, out of the um, Mitsubishi Outlander rear diff that has a splined end which goes on the motor and the other end which goes into the diff. Um, the splines only go up to about here, so I'm actually going to cut this off here. Um, so that we can then trim this down um, to fit inside a piece of tube. Um, I could try and grind all this down, but this is all going to be very hardened, so I figured just cut it off here, then I've got a decent length piece here uh, that can sit inside our tube. Um, would longer be better? Maybe. Maybe not though, because actually I need to put the clutch centre from the um, uh, BMW gearbox on the other end and I don't want this thing longer than it needs to be. So first step, going to get this spinning up in uh, a slow speed in the lathe and chop it off there. So there we go, fairly neat cut. Um, not as neat as I would have liked because I had to stop it spinning right at the end because um, the uh, angle grinder was starting to bind up a bit with the depth of the cut. But you can see that plenty of space there between the splines, we've got all the splines in there. The plan is to trim it down so that, I think, yeah. We'll see. I can't decide whether it's going to go in that way, so that towards the motor, which is the way it would have gone initially. And then I leave this lip here, leave a lip here, and trim this down so that it fits inside this piece of pipe, which obviously need cleaning up. But if I leave a little lip here, A, it should sit nice and square, and B, if I need to, got something to weld to um, if just the shrink fit isn't quite enough. I probably will weld it, we'll see. So now we've got our motor end we need to think about our gearbox end. So we'll see this, this centre here is going to be, uh, it's going to sit on these splines it can run to a maximum depth of it's about if you can get the angle there but it's about well there's exactly 85 mil of this uh, shaft here from there and then that shaft stops about Five mil. You can't really see it where you are. About five mil from the face of here. So our adapter plate, which bolts on here into the motor, is going to be six six twelve fifty two mil. And then we've got about thirty five mil of shaft on the other end. So eight and a half. 9, 52, so that's 1420, so 1770 is going to be the total length of our cut. 
coupler maximum length of that coupler and it needs to be no shorter than fifteen seventy if we're going to use this gearbox. I think this gearbox is the same as the other one, but I don't remember this protrusion here. Oh, the other one. It feels like it's deeper, perhaps. Um, maybe a different gearbox for the more powerful two litre motor. It's not dissimilar. Either way, we need a coupler that's about 1600 1650 millimeters long in total uh, and we can do some adapting around that we'll start it out at its maximum and then we can trim it down to make sure we've got a snug fit we don't want it pushing against here um, but we do want it to be snugly on these splines so probably time to cut some pipe I only have two hands and I've not got my uh, tripod out here so didn't film that but just roughly cut that off with the angle grinder. I didn't bother getting the circular saw out because I'm going to finish this up in the lathe anyway. You can tell this is a slightly rusty piece of pipe, it's not perfect, it does see, have a seam um, but we'll run over that inside and out uh, at the appropriate bits with the lathe to make sure it's nice and round. Um, before we start slotting everything together. Last component we need to cut out is our clutch center. So I'm just going to go through these arms uh, and then we can turn it on the lathe and trim it down. There we have it. And our three coupler components clutch center, tube, pipe, and splined connector for motor. Done a very rough clean up on that, nothing serious yet. Um, so, the next step is to start getting them all roughly fitting together um, and tidying things up a bit. So, I'll probably start with tidying the pipe up a bit, and there'll be some test fitting and measuring before I get it all cinched up. Light's starting to fade and it's probably time to pack up for the day but you can see I've roughly squared off this tube is definitely too long. That's about 17 or well, 170 mil now, which is what the total thing needs to be. So once you've added that on one end and that on another, we'll sit inside like that. <coughs> you can see it needs to come down a bit. It's probably gonna come down a couple of centimeters. It's much longer than my other coupler, um, which is, not necessarily an issue um, but yeah the tube still needs a lot of clean up which is difficult because the mouth of the chuck is too small for this to slot inside so while it's while I'm cleaning up the outside I can use the this boss here um, to keep it steady but that's not so good for the inside um, so getting it perfectly round is a little bit tricky when it's that length Obviously, the further it out, further out it is from the chuck, the more it's going to wobble. But a good start. Uh, I've got my core components together now, uh, and then I can just start to do all the fitting together. Bit of progress off camera, and um, I finished turning down the neck of the spline section from the motor coupler and opening out the inside of the tube slightly and then I've heated up the tube got them to within about 0.1 mil of each other although it's not particularly precise I'm using cheap Chinese calipers and my very cheap lathe 
but to the point where they almost fitted within each other and then heated this up with a blowtorch and dropped this in. Although right now, it's not very straight. Um, if I stick it in the lathe and spin it, um, there's a fair bit of wobble by the time you get to the other end. So a bit of work to do to get this straightened out now. A few blows with the hammer, stick it in the lathe, get the uh, dial gauge on it and just keep adjusting until I get it roughly straight um, before we insert the other end. You can tell from the terrible finish there that I need to go back and uh, and saw that out and get that tube nice and round. A little bit more off camera work. I've turned down the um, piece from the BMW Clutch Centre actually probably a bit too it's too loose a fit unfortunately so it's going to need welding see I didn't take very much off just cleaned it up really took a slight loop off there um, but that's already enough to make it a firm but too loose a fit to be to have any strength obviously so I'll need a little bit of welding I'm going to turn this lip down a bit more first. The main concern now is getting it all straight. Um, last time I did this, I actually made up a uh, piece of bar to go down the middle. It was a tight fit on each end. Uh, this one's obviously slightly longer, so it's not quite going to work for that. I may turn another piece of bar to get this perfectly straight or get it in the lathe and just use the uh, dial gauge to line it all up before I put some tacks on and then weld it. But getting there, good progress today. It's a little thing, I um, modded my um, JCB saw to take a Rage Evolution blade. I thought about buying a whole new saw for metal but these blades can cut anything so I might as well just mod it slightly. I just had to turn down this collar slightly to fit through the smaller centre diameter on this blade. Um, that just took two seconds in the lathe and that's now a nice fit. And I've used that to trim down the motor side adapter plate. I've kept enough material on each side to attach the um, uh, the arms which will come off and go to the motor mounts um, but that with a bit of cleaning up um, is now ready to go that side and um, while I've got the saw out I'm going to cut I've got another you can see behind this mess here I've got another plate I'm going to cut that one down to 40 by 40 centimeters to go over here and then we can put some uh, transfer punches through these holes and uh, and get that side lined up. Thought I'd double check measurements before I uh, start cutting this piece of plate up. Make sure this is going to fit all right. Um, see. Uh, 40 in that dimension is going to be loads. But in this dimension, there yeah, should still be loads. Well, not loads actually, but enough. centimetres there, it's 45, so yeah, 39. See so if we cut that 40 by 40, it gives us plenty of space and plenty of spare. Funny, making up mounts and things, some nice strong mounts. By the way, apologies for not doing more tripod -y stuff, uh, but before I got ill, I left a lot of my camera equipment uh, up at the unit and so I don't have anything to actually grip my phone with 
uh, other than my hands uh, for this video. So uh, I'll get, you know, normal service will be resumed uh, once I've been back to the unit, which would be it's Monday today, tomorrow. I'll be going there tomorrow uh, and grabbing all my stuff.